Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Patrick Bamford to check out. And I have to go do his objective afterwards. Uh, this card is six foot one, high, high work rates, left footed, four star skills, a three star weak foot with 99 dribbling stats. 99 dribbling for everything. That's kind of nuts. He looks like he's formatted in a very interesting way. Dribbling stats really high, so what, do you just give him like a hunter, <laughs> I guess? Bamford, let's see. Let's see what we are working with. Very interesting upgrade on this card though, eh? Very, very interesting. Okay, so uh, not updated just yet, but it's probably gonna be like a, probably gonna be a hunter flex on him to boost the shooting and the pace as much as possible. Passing on the card is going to be in a decent area. You are going to be mainly using him as a striker, so no big deal there. Uh, heading accuracy at an 89 with a 72 for jumping. Does he have... Okay, so he's got injury-prone finesse shot, flare, flare passes, swerve pass, chip shot, technical dribbler. Huh. A lot of very interesting things on this card. 99 dribbling stats, though. That, that caught me off guard. Um... Heading accuracy 89 while being six foot one, and then a 94 for stamina at a high, high work rate. I mean, listen, by default, if you want to make him as your attacking oriented center mid, you could totally do that. I mean, the dribbling stats being high is actually a plus being used um, in that left center mid area. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do if you wanted to do that. But obviously, we're going to try him out um, up top. So, going to go ahead and complete the SBC, do the objective, and then we'll do the review. Okay, guys, so we just finished unlocking the card. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him the Hunter chemistry style. Uh, I was using his other card, and honestly, like, the dribbling boost is obviously the thing that you needed to improve the most. But with this card, he obviously has 99 dribbling stats. So the fact that I can give him a Hunter chemistry style is actually really good for potential in regards to usability in-game, because so far, the card actually is pretty decent from before, so... I want to see what this card's going to be like on a massive dribbling boost. Uh, let's see how he plays in game. He's going to be on the stay central, getting behind instruction. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So the first 11 for Real. Keylor Navas is the goalkeeper. Javier Mascherano plays with Antonio Hudiga in central. I try to work a small little dribble there, but it was a good challenge. Well done. Direct passing always important just to get those angles right away. Nice. We'll take that. It's it's really interesting to work with Mbappe as the cam and then Bamford as the striker because the high high forces him to play that play style, but then Mbappe is also aggressive pushing forward too. I got the uh, the space, just couldn't get the timing off. That's on me. But it's a good run, though. Mbappe. Oh, no way. To be fair, though, I do aim my thumbstick upwards so that it goes kind of like to the left side, right? So I have to probably just aim it towards the goal there. Oh, I try to get a Burba spin off him. Good finish, good finish. But I'm on a strong foot right there. Oh! I can still score the header with him. Oh, no. Nice try, though. Ah, oh, wasn't going to get to that. Oh, no good finesse shot there. I think it was the touch that kind of threw him off a little bit. Oh, that was a good run. That was a good run. Yeah, that was a good angle there. Top shot. These are these are some cool cards, man. 
These are some cool cards. Oh, I hit on a white and I put too much power behind it too. Nice finish. Let's go. Yeah, finesse is outside. We'll be a little bit inconsistent with him. Tiny bit, tiny bit, but most of your strikes come from inside the 18, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, so because he's a physical type striker, right? Big guy, uh, pretty tall. I, I like that they gave him 99 dribbling stats. Like, I don't have to give him an engine because in your game, EA, you need a massive dribbling boost for these cards to feel as responsive as possible. So it's nice that I didn't have to boost that myself, you know? But he's still going to feel weird sometimes because of his uh, body type, height, you know? Oh, a little bit of pressure from behind there. Unlucky. Half shot. Nice. See, like, you could tell that he has, like, fast animations, which is so good because he needs them. It's so different to do that with base card stats than it is for me to have to give him an engine. It's just dumb, you know? He still has a thing sometimes on his uh, dribble, but that's that's obvious, right? I don't care, because them giving the dribbling boost is sick. Do this. Do this. Oh. No, I did it too early, man. <laughs> that was against Sergio Ramos too, eh? That was against Sergio Ramos. This guy's just booming forward there. Eh, try it out, try it out. Why not? Oh, Sergio. Sergio Ramos. Ah. Maybe, you know what? To be fair, if you have like extra jumping stats, like it would be kind of helpful in those situations. Look, you see his dribbling? So you could tell he's physical, but he's actually got like good sharp dribbles. It's sick. I, I love that. He's gonna make the run right here. Ah, oh, the pass is better. Nice. First time strike, still scores it. Listen, man, I'm taking shots with his weak foot. It's still going in. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Patrick Bamford card. This promo is such a W so far. Like, they're giving us cheap cards that have their own things to them that make them interesting but also really fun to use in the meta of the gameplay because here's the thing man i know that's a meme for me to give an engine chemistry style to everybody but you guys need to understand the dribbling mechanics in this game like you could still see with him on 99 for everything he's still gonna have certain things to him because it matches to the base mechanics of the player right so because he's six foot one with a high and average plus body type me giving him an engine i'm still going to notice it if they don't boost him a certain way right so them giving him 99 dribbling stats it almost reminds me of my older videos when i used to tell them like guys like just make your physical type strikers 99 dribbling for everything when they're formatted a certain way because having to give an engine is such a nuisance right so it's really fun to not have to give an engine to him, and I can give him a Hunter chemistry style, but they didn't make him super overpowered because they don't give him like a crazy weak foot or skill moves. But who cares? Because to be honest with you guys, 
the four star skill moves is enough you need to be able to do like an l1 croquetta a burba spin from time to time that type of stuff is going to be important right but i was taking strikes with his right foot and they were still going into the back of the net as long as they're as high percentage as they can possibly be and what's funny is that as i was unlocking the card from the 85 rated version he was still taking some good strikes with his weak foot too so you know for me personally the fact that he's a left-footed player just adds to the card because if I want to use him in a two-striker lineup and he's being played in the left-striker position, he'll play that area really well. But even as a lone striker for this 4-2-3-1 system, he was still doing work for me. Like, even though he's a high, high work-rated card, he still has really solid attacking AI, which is fantastic because... It's really good that you have these instructions when you're forcing it, like the stay central getting behind, because you can see if the players themselves make very good angled runs, which he did consistently. His runs are very good. Um, the traits that they've given this card is significantly, significantly helpful. Chip shot trait animation, you can see, guys, it, the chip shot animation is so much better with this trait. I tell you guys this every single time a player has this. You can see that the way that they weight it is just perfect like honestly they could give the chip shot trade to everybody it'd be great you know but uh i guess it makes the cards special in their ways which is perfectly fine um the only thing that's gonna be inconsistent from time to time is obviously going to be in the longer shots right technically speaking if you want to make it a little bit more consistent you could totally give them a hawk chemistry style because you'd be working with sprint speed at a 99 more than you would be working with the acceleration being higher but again it just depends on what your play style is for me i need higher acceleration because i need them to move into certain spaces very quickly while providing them shooting because most of my strikes will be coming from inside the 18 yard box so listen man the card is the card is what 27k I don't know where the dislikes are coming from, to be honest with you. The dislikes are like this, this these cards should have zero dislikes. The the things that they're doing to these cards to make them interesting is so sick. This is a card you should get. He's super fun to use. Physical type striker that can dribble without an engine chemistry style. That's great. Because EA know, hey, he's six foot one, high and average plus. We kind of, you know, we should just give him the 99 dribbling. So I always used to say this in my older reviews. Some of you guys remember, I'm like, just give it to them because. Your mechanics work a certain way when it comes to dribbling. First of all, the way that the gameplay is, right? Most of the time it's bad, so that is a gameplay compensator. But when it's good, oh, it's going to feel amazing. You know? So, W. WSBC, W card. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.